Plus Beauty, and I'm so glad you're here with me today to see my July makeup faves. It's mostly makeup, a few little non-makeup items, but it's the things that I really, really enjoy, and one that I really didn't enjoy at the end. First, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe and click the little bell so you get notification of my future videos. That way you won't miss anything. Okay, let's get down to this. The first fave I have is this Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation. I absolutely love this foundation. It just absolutely looks like real skin. It goes on very effortlessly. It is not greasy. It does look like just real healthy skin. It wears all day. It has great coverage. It is just a wonderful little foundation. And I have about 10 or 15 to choose from, but really I always go back to this one. It is a little powerhouse of a foundation. The second thing that I really like is the Maybelline Master Blush Palette and it is a drugstore brand, and it is an absolutely wonderful little palette and super versatile. And the reason I really like it is, for instance, today I have kind of an orange tone on, and I just shot a video with an orange shirt, and I don't tend to like orange tone blushes, but you really do need them. You need a peach tone and you need a pink tone, and so that is what this little Wonder Worker does for me, is it gives me a wonderful little pink color here, which I absolutely love. That's my favorite color of pink, kind of that bright, alive, almost fuchsia color, and this is a darker version of this same color that makes a really good little low light or a contour under the cheekbone. And if you want to go more orange or peach, this is a great color and I have it on right now and I think it's very natural looking. And this is a wonderful little highlighter that I also have on just over on the top of the cheekbone or use it as a highlighter anywhere on your face. I really like this. It's very versatile and I reach for it quite a lot. The next item that I really like is a brow product. And as some of you may know, I never did my brows until really I came to YouTube. And so I'm a little bit of a novice at this. And so maybe this is more of a beginner's look for eyebrows, but I really, really like it. And it's super easy because I didn't want to add yet another thing to my face that would take 10 minutes. I wanted something quick and easy. And to me, that's what this little brow product does. It's the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Frame and Set. And it looks like that. And it comes with a little spoolie, although I misplaced the one it came with because I've been using this really pretty consistently for the last few months. Basically, you just take your little spoolie and you dip it in the little uh, color there. And I use a medium brunette color because I'm sort of trying to match my roots, not my blonde bright ends. Sorry, I don't mean to say fry, that's negative. But anyway, I look kind of funny when I go to the yellow eyebrows. So I just kind of match my root color on the eyebrows. But I really like this, you just dip it in and just it takes just a second to brush it on and there's a little bit of a setting feature to this. That's why it's called frame and set because you just kind of put your brows in place and they do tend to stay in place and I really like this product. Now, my next product is actually two products <laughs> and you know me of brushes. Uh, I, whoops, I'm dropping them. I love brushes. In fact, it's probably a little hot button to me. I need to take brushes off my buying list. This is the little Artiste brush. This is actually a real Artiste brush and I paid like $60 for it Actually, quite honestly, I paid $40 for it on eBay. I did not pay the $60 for it. But I really wish that I had not bought this brush. Everybody on YouTube raves about this Artiste brush and it is wonderful to put foundation on. It is amazing. But I have to say, just as amazing is this dupe set. And I got a whole set at TJ Maxx. I think it was about $15. And it's the Eye Beauty brand. This is the foundation brush that's the Artiste dupe. And oh, it is just wonderful. I absolutely love this. And in fact, really, I love this brush more than the Artiste brush. And I wish I had not spent the $40, but I guess that's kind of what I'm here to do is to be a guinea pig for you. I also got another one in, I think, a BoxyCharm or something, and it was equally as nice as this one. Actually, between these two brushes, this one is softer. It's amazing. I would not go for the uh, Artiste. I would stick with the dupes, and I'll try to put a link below for these dupes. The next product that I have is this Smashbox contour kit, and as you can see, I'm so sorry, it's messy, because I use the heck out of this little thing. Okay, it not only comes, it's got the directions in here if you forget how to use it. It comes with a complete set of directions that tells you how to contour, like if your face is round or oval or rectangle, whatever. The makeup itself is really fabulous. It comes with a three little pan combo here, plus a nice little mirror and a nice little contour brush. You know, there are better contour brushes and larger ones, but it really does get right in there. I really like it. And I actually grab for this and use this quite a lot. But this is the contour shade. And for some reason, even though I have many contours, you should see my makeup desk here. It's crazy, the, the number of products I have. But I keep going back to this because this is an incredibly 
universal color, I think, in terms of contour. This is a great bronzer for all over your face, just to give you that sun-kissed look. And this is a little bit of a highlighter that can go down your nose, on your cheekbones, you know, a little bit on your chin, a little bit up above your brow there. But this is absolutely fabulous, and I know it's a great product because I have all kinds of options, and I always go back to this one. The next thing I have is a little tiny thing, and this is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Lip Liner, and this happens to be in color Rose Quartz. And this is an amazing thing to me because I used a Revlon lip liner for probably 10, 12, 15 years, and I never found anything that I liked as well, and I would try things, you know, through the, through the years. Well, recently I tried this little lip liner, and there was another Rimmel one that everybody loved, the Exaggerate Lip Liner, and I don't like that one because it's kind of has, it has an angular tip on it, and it goes on more like a lipstick, and it does not stay on. This one doesn't look like any fun because it's just the basic pencil liner there, but it goes on extremely effortlessly. I wear this almost all the time. It goes on very effortlessly. It makes a fantastic line, and it really lasts. In fact, I usually never just do a line. I'll do the line and then fill in the line with this. It's also just a really pretty color to wear by itself on those more natural days. This is a fantastic lip liner and very inexpensive. The next product I have, I got given this product by the Graftobian people, the Graftobian Cosmetics people, and they really have an interesting company. What they do is they do HD makeup. Part of what they do is high definition makeup for TV applications and movies. In the television movie industry, now it's all HD, which is very close up and very difficult, so you have to have a flawless finished makeup. So the Graftobian people have designed a full line of makeup that really gives you that perfect flawless look. And they sent me the lipsticks, which were really great. And I have to say they're a little bit pricey. This palette is $79, so those of you who don't have a lot of extra money, I would not recommend this. But I am really, really, really enjoying this little palette. And one of the main reasons I like it, first, the lipsticks are incredibly highly pigmented, and they go on beautifully. It's like if you put, if you put their lipstick here, it just stays right in an even line. It's absolutely beautiful. It wears a long, long time. It's just really durable, very creamy feeling lipstick. It has a nice, nice creamy feel to it. And also what I really like about it is that you can custom mix your own colors. In fact, I did that yesterday because I had sort of an orangey top and I used a little bit of this and I think it was a little bit of this. You can see I've really been dipping into this because it is a lot of fun. And I'll put um, a link to the information below. And again, you know, they did give me this product, but this is my true opinion of it. I really do like this little palette and I'm very glad they sent it to me. The next thing I have is not a makeup item but it is something that is very important. And probably many of you know about this, but if you don't, I love this little product. Um, it's a Listerine, and I guess it's an automatic dental flosser is what it is. I don't know what they call but it. You can pick it up at Walmart or Target, and I'll put a link in the information below. Instead of having to get out the dental floss twice a day and you know hand do it and you know wrap it around your fingers and make a mess, you just kind of do it like this. And I asked my dentist, because it's so easy, I asked my dentist, yeah, yeah, this did just as good a job because it really makes it go really, really fast in the mornings. And she's like, oh yeah, you know, anything that makes you dental floss, I am all in favor of is what she said. And uh, you can't hardly resist doing it because your mouth feels so clean after you do it. But this is absolutely a great little time saver. I love this little item. Okay, the next item is the Lobe Wonder. And for those of you who went through the 80s or the 90s with the really big earrings, which I did, I have actually had my little ear holes re about two or three times since the 80s because, you know me, I like big and bold, and I had, <laughs> I used to wear earrings that looked like garbage can lids. I mean, they really did. They were huge and gold, and I don't, I, I can't believe they sold them like that, but they were very heavy. So I really damaged my ears. So now what I do is I use these low wonders and they are fabulous and I'll put the information down below. You can't really see this but they're little tiny discs that are clear and you just take off the disc and it has some adhesive on it and you put it on the back of your ear. I've got them in right now and then you, you know, stick your earring through and it goes right through your, your real ear plus the lobe wonder and it just gives you a little more structure and a little more support back there. Even if you don't have enlarged holes I believe it helps keep your ears safe from getting tears because that little bit of low wonder material is giving you a little more support back there so you can perhaps wear slightly heavier earrings. Although now I really can't wear heavy earrings even with the low wonder. I just, I really don't want to rip my ears anymore so I go for the lightweight ones but there's some of those around and I feel pretty good about that. 
The next thing I have is an eye makeup remover that I've used for probably 20 years. And this is the CoverGirl Clean Eye Makeup Remover. And it is absolutely wonderful. It is just oil. In fact, I don't want to open it. And, and, and I keep it in a baggie because that's the one downside is that it gets everywhere. So you keep it in a baggie. It's basically like using salad oil, I guess, on your eyes. And so you put it on and even heavy waterproof makeup comes off just like, like that. It's great because I really don't believe in doing a lot of tugging on your eyes. If you're having a problem removing your eye makeup, this stuff is absolutely wonderful. I mean, you immediately look like a raccoon. Then you go in with a cleansing cloth and you know wipe that off afterwards, but this is great. The last product I have is not a fave. They sent me this product for my 100% honest review, and unfortunately, they're going to get it. This product, it is called Candy Lips. They sent me the, the normal size Candy Lips and the travel size, and bless their hearts that they sent it to me. I really appreciate it. I know a lot of young girls really like this product, and you know, it just really was not for me. Here is a look at what it looks like, and it looks so cute. I mean, the packaging is wonderful, and it's absolutely a darling product, but it has a little suction device in it, and just looking at it makes me nervous. I actually did a video of this, and I actually enlarged my lips with this, and then for some reason when I got all that done I went to the camera and the video was nowhere to be found. I don't know it just did not work and I was too afraid to do it again. There's a conditioning period they call it where you don't wear it for very long at all like less than a minute to get your lips enlarged. It's kind of sectioned kind of along the same principle of when we were kids and you would put your lips suck them down into a pop bottle and then you look like a duck. That's exactly what this does. This device gives you what they call cupping marks and they look like bruises, but they say they're not bruises. 90 to 95% of people get them. That's like everybody gets them. They are not fun. And basically what it did, at first when I finished the video, I had rather distorted looking lips, but they were larger. I mean, I have to admit, it looked like I'd had kind of a bad filler and it's supposed to last for about two hours. Actually, the puffed up effect lasted for about five hours, which was interesting. Although my husband said, Beth, please don't do that again. But the problem was within four or five hours, my lips started turning black with the cupping marks. They say they go away within a day or two. Well, mine lasted seven days and I had a really ugly black lip up, up top and a black lip on the bottom. I work, I have to meet people and this is just not something that I can incorporate into my lifestyle. So, you know, I appreciate them sending it to me, but maybe it's for the younger girls that are a little more adventurous than I am. That's the end of my faves, and if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe and click the little bell to get notification of my future videos. Now, I always like to leave you with one little thought for the day, and I've been using this little card deck, The Language of Letting Go, and so I'm going to choose as a card, and we'll see what comes up for the day, and hopefully it will be a good message for me, and also for someone out there. Okay, here we go. Okay, I think this one feels good. Oh, I like this one. Receiving joyfully, receiving joyfully. Has a pretty little mermaid on the front. It says, today I will let someone give to me, whether it's a compliment, an offer to help, or even a gift. I will stand there and take it joyfully. We need to do that, ladies. I know that I'm deserving of good things, so I will simply say thank you. Oh my. You know, ladies, this is a really good one. This is a basic education here in how to accept a compliment. And I'm not really very good at it, and I know a lot of you aren't either because you start second-guessing people and saying, oh yeah, but, which really takes away the joy of the giver of the compliment. So we just need to accept the compliment, really feel good about it, and say thank you. Really, in our second half, that's just what we need to do is say, universe, thank you for all the wonderful gifts I have. I enjoy them, and thank you. I guess that's it for the day. I look forward to seeing you next time.